What's up everyone, it's Klotz with a V. The V probably stands for virginity, and welcome to episode three of the Untrimmed Slayer Cape Iron Man. So there's been a massive update about six weeks ago in all honesty because I'm recording this now instead of six weeks ago because every clip I made of this six weeks ago was just awful. So I'm going to make a more entertaining version. They released the blowpipe nerf and with it came Amethyst Darts which is massive. It means I can change a lot of the direction of the account because now I don't have to make, I can just make these instead of rune darts or adamant darts which are hard to get realistically plus are more useful as alks. So I can just make these, and I already have a bunch of amethyst. I'm still gonna make like 45,000 out of amethyst arrows because, well, it's fletching experience because you need 90 fletching for these and 89 crafting, which 89 crafting I already have banked. Don't worry about it. 90 fletching is, that's gonna be a bit difficult if I'm being honest, but once I get it, that's great. And I think I'm gonna keep the 7K amount. I'm not sure, maybe I push for 10K, but I think 7K is that's four times eight, 32,000 darts that I get to use there. That's plenty, plus the 15,000 adamant darts I've already made. This is just huge for the account, and I am glad to see this. This is this is awesome for Iron Man. Making a party, chocolate barbie, waiting on me for a yo. In the back is Joe, I'm riding shotgun, the driver's unknown. Two wheels, two men, one skin, pump head, let's see who gets home. Ski, 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 ski man run like I ain't involved. My main bitch is my flick, my side bitch is my stick. SA with that black blade, you have one flick and get dipped. Blood drip off the dip, dip is a splash thing when we grip. It's harder bitch, Spartans looking all harder bitch. HS guards with strips, splash, splash that party. Ugh. Uh, of course, in typical fashion, I missed this level. I got 71 herb war, and the cool thing about this level is I didn't make a single potion to get it. I got it through just cleaning herbs that I've collected, which is really nice. And um, yeah, I'm about to, have to do some herb war. I'm running out of compost, and I do the uh, I do the compost potion method to get ultra compost. So. I actually have to do compost potions soon, which is good. why I started with Harlanders, because uh, they make the compost potions. Two hundred thirty-seven thousand cannonballs, forty-four mil in cannonballs. That is, uh. I would be left with a hundred mil bank if I didn't have the <laughs> cannonballs. That's that's insane. So I started doing herb war because I really just need some compost, uh, some ultra compost. Uh, I realized that the volcanic ash that I mined today wasn't enough, but it's fine. It should be at least enough volcanic ash to get me all the compost I need for farming for, I think, all the seeds I have, but at least a very long time. So that'll be great. And uh, we'll go into farming again. It'll be really kind of terrible honestly I hate farming. Okay we're back we got a clip for once and it is me getting 90 hunter which is doesn't unlock anything but it's actually pretty cool that I got here another 90 stat that's what uh one two three the fourth 90 on the account my fifth 90 ever sixth 90 ever actually so that's awesome big big little milestone right there big little milestone yes Good, good English. Oh well. So, I actually realized something massive for my account. Because of the Amethyst Dart update, I don't have to make any of this, any of my room bars into uh, darts, I can just make them into alkables. So, I did. I just made them all into rune medhelms, and it's like 3 mil in cash, dude. That's so good. That's massive to get 3 mil in cash on this account right now, and like 5k on this, it's just really big. So, and I, I always mess up. So I'm just gonna do some agility and alking, get my marks of grace up while I uh, earn for some earn them for some stamina. So I decided with all this money that I now have, it would probably be a good idea to throw it into kingdom and just get herbs and teaks. And that way I can just do a ton of construction and uh, 
herb lore because it'd really be best if I could get 89 herb lore over 87, just anti-poison pluses are better. And this way, maybe I can even save myself some hunter experience and do birdhouse runs so I can get more Sarah brews. <laughs> so I came to check on like what I had in here because I know I had like 10k in here. One T clock and a Theramin. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, change this up real quick. We don't need any mining. We need all herbs. And the rest can go in teak logs. And yeah. Then let's, uh, let's put in... I got one coin. I'm going to deposit three mil, which is actually 30 days. 30,000, 300,000. Three mil. That'll put me at 30 days, so a month. I'm gonna come back like every five days or so to get my favor back up, and I, I can't wait to see how much I get out of this. It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be ridiculous. Three mil and one coin. Okay. Of course, I missed the level again, but uh, 96 fire making. That's uh, really nice for the account. I'm just doing this with my ultimate Iron Man, but it's a good way to get supplies, money, and just get myself closer to 99 fire making that I never really finished off. Glad to get 96. Only two and like two levels and a million experience to go until I'm almost 99. Yeah, and I'm just gonna open all the crates once I get 98, almost 99. They'll be, it'll be a fun opening. It'll be cool to do. I, I hope. Yay. So, I've decided that I really shouldn't wait till like night, almost 99 fire making to start opening these up. As I could really use the seeds now, any herbs now, any logs or like things I can make for uh, fletching experience now. And I really could use the GP now because I have some big plans going forward with the account. So I'm just going to go ahead and open these crates. And the great thing about these crates is they've got like 10 to 20 drops in them each. It's just going to be awesome. I'm just going to open them anyways because I guarantee you I get a lot of... Uh, dupes and yeah you see some nice corn seeds harlanders maple logs raw swordfish mahoganies yeah all this stuff is good all of this is really useful for the account right now uh we're just gonna deposit it the only one i'm going to keep in my inventory is the coins because i want to see how much coins i get from these oh look Two free rolls, let's go. I do not need Bormer tor Bormer torches or um, warm gloves. Extra crate, give it to me. Let's go. Emeralds, coins. Oh, bird just flew in my window. Whack. Oh, rune, I got rune, dude. That's so good. Actually, I, I don't need these. Uh, trout are useless. Another crate. Snape grass, nice. Sharks, nice. Rune, nice. Rune is great because it's just so, it's just free money. Free Alps. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't record that one and opened it. Uh, everything but the salt peter I think is actually good to keep. Actually, no, I don't need the salmon either. Once again, didn't record opening this one, but rune, magic logs, that's nice. Don't need any of this. Corm seeds, aventos, great. Uh, all of this is great. More saltpeter, ew. And don't need the fish. Everything else can go in the bank. It's free experience. Another one. Well, that one was lame. All right, be better. Okay, sweet. No dynamite, we don't need that. And yeah, all this stuff is great. I really need to like, not forget to, you know, click record, but whatever. Another crate, and I'm just gonna go for the back-to-back, -back. two and one. There we go, ended it off. 87K in coins, not as much as I'd hope. I was hoping for at least 100, but whatever. It's a good amount of coins and a good amount of supplies. So if you're a RuneScape veteran, you already know what's going on, but essentially once you complete the Desert Hard Diaries, this guy will make unfinished potions for you for 200 GP a potion, which is just a great deal. I mean, it's a great deal when it's like price per potion, 200 per potion, awesome. The problem is you have to make so many potions. I have almost 7k pots, there's gonna be 1.4 mil. If I had to make 11k, I'd be broke. But I got 1.4 mil, I'm gonna do it. And this is just awesome. It's so worth it. That's like, 
the worst part. The worst part about an Iron Man isn't herb lore. It's making unfinished potions. So having this done is is the it's just a great feeling. I can just do herb lore and get so much experience now. It's great. I did it. I finally did it. I got a pet. I, I've just been trying to get Marks and Grace for stamina pots. I got the agility pet. No way. No way. <laughs> Let's go. So I think that is it for this episode. If you liked any of the music that I used in the background during this video, the musicians as well as the songs are on the screen now. Feel free to check them out. Their socials will be in the description. While their music is copyright free, I do feel they deserve some credit for the music they have produced. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing or leaving a like or even commenting. I really appreciate it. If you have any advice or any useful tips for me, feel free to leave them in the comments as well. Thank you so much. I'm Klutz with a V. See you in the next episode.